Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another video. Today I am standing in the middle, literally, in Kapabashi uh, Kitchen Alley here in Tokyo, beside Weno and uh, Asakusa in the middle. And today we're gonna give you a little bit of a guided tour on what's available here. For all you chef lovers, this is for you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Today I'm actually starting at the opposite end of the, uh, I guess what you would call the entrance of Kapabashi and uh, everything that you could ever want for your kitchen, for cooking, is truly, truly available here. There are so many unique stores and we're going to go take a look at some. Uh, we'll be zigzagging across all the streets and uh, checking out all the stores. Actually, I found the store I need. I need these light bulbs here. I better come back here when it's open one day. But as you can see, uh, it is double-sided. Look at that beetle over there. Oof. They do have a nice little coffee shop here, of course. Uh, it's called Best Coffee. A great, great little uh, coffee shop. Uh, you get uh, weary feet from shopping so much, but you'll see all kinds of uh, very unique and amazing stores along here. Got bamboo baskets there. You got all these draperies. Not sure all what uh, this is here, but some are very local. Some are very old shops, of course. I come here a lot uh, to grab a lot of kitchen stuff, actually. They do have some spice stores here. It's famous for uh, the fake food stores that they make here. We're gonna go uh, take a look over there in a sec here, just to give you an idea of uh, how amazing this street is. They have a lot of knife shops to, oh, you name it, well, you'll see it. Oh, look at that uh, old Volkswagen sitting over there. That's amazing. <laughs> the first shop I wanna show you is this right here. Um, they are uh, famous for making some of the uh, fake food and you'll see why. Check this out. We're going to show you that burger in a second here. But they have a stack of pancakes, I believe. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? Jambalaya, not for sale. Look at all that. That's Okonomiyaki there. Sangria. And this burger. Could you imagine if this was real? That is crazy. I would challenge somebody to eat that, actually. Um, you can, of course, buy all kinds of little souvenirs and stuff. But we'll go to a different store in a second here. Now, this uh, area is about five or six blocks long. Uh, this is uh, like a pot and pans, uh, kettles I see, some uh, rice bowls. Got little mini fridges inside there, industrial rice cookers in the back there. So it is pretty cool. Looks like he's sharpening knives for a bit. You do have uh, furniture. So I guess if you need bar stools or chairs or you know, anything for your restaurant or establishment, pretty easy to get. You can see that these uh, fake food stores, uh, the, fa the food looks really real. It really, really does. Look at this. It's kind of funny because it's uh, Christmas season. KFC. Love it, love it, love it. And actually, I'm going to be corrected right here because it says here, these plastic foods are not fake foods, but rather food samples, which is pretty cool. Cameras, photo okay, SNS is okay. I just want to show you guys the uh, KFC there. Looks pretty cool. Look at the naan. This is one of the smaller stores. I'll show you a bigger store in a minute. You can see ice creams and things like that. Look at the New Year's mochi there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now there are a few stores that I do visit uh, on a regular basis. Uh, that's a sign shop over there. All your signs and whatever you need for your restaurant and stuff. This street here is quite famous uh, in the summertime. They have a nice uh, Tanabata 
uh, area here that they film. Of course, it does say Kapabashi, and look at the amazing view of Sky Tree right at the end. I'll just take a quick walk down. Get some uh, nice stores and things like that, which is pretty cool. Now, some of these stores are not open, which surprises me. But as I turn around here in a sec, I'm walking on the road, so I better be careful here. I just want to show you guys. There's some really beautiful uh, Japanese shops here with uh, a lot of different... Uh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And the next door to it here is uh, some knives, cutting boards, things like that. This is uh, Kashinoito. Even right down to some of the uh, stuff that you would wear in the restaurants and stuff like that. Look at these knives here. Look at that. That's some big ass knives. Hey. Eh? Oh my. Can anybody in the comment tell me what that knife you think would be used for? Look at this. This is a knife lover's dream. Look at the, and this is only one of a, probably 10 stores that specialize in uh, knives here. You know, another sign store here. Please use hand, hand sanitizer, no smoking. Sorry, we are closed. All kinds of... Oh, look at this. Blue Mountain Coffee. Little burlap bags. It's pretty cool. It's quite busy here today, actually. I'm surprised. But, as you can see, you know, people are out shopping, uh, getting all their kitchen things. I typically stay on this side just because uh, it's pretty awesome over here. You got your bakery things, bamboo steamers, cough, I see uh, old Cuisinarts back up in there. So many products here. It, it amazes me, it really does. And again, across the street, our stores, like that's a nice store way over there. Again, this is uh, Nako Factory Works. Look at the crystal. I, I would imagine it's crystal, maybe. Look at that. Amazing. Big pots, industrial pots inside. So you can get a lot of, uh, well, pretty much anything you want for your kitchen, for cooking, your hobby, professional, you'll get here. They have like massive, massive utensils. I'm looking at, you know, mandolins to strainers to pots, waffle makers. Look how, look how massive these pots are. Oh my God, isn't that crazy? It's amazing. I like these kind of plates here, actually. And as I pan up, look at this store. Everything you could want right in this store here, from little plates and cups to big, small, different colors, different shapes. She likes that one there. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, everything that you could ever want is really on this street. Um, I've already walked past probably four different knife shops. Uh, you can see all the uh, pots and pans. And there are some stores that are popular, some stores that are not popular. We'll get to the popular ones, which are usually uh, more closer to the main uh, street area. 
I actually like this store here. Relatively cheap. You know, little ramekins for a buck. Actually, I like this. You know, you can put your salsa, your sour cream, your guacamole, which are pretty nice. Different uh, style bowls, depending on your taste. Still like it. Absolutely love it. Across the street there, you can see businesses with double floors. You know, people are shopping up there. It's pretty cool. It really is pretty cool. One of my favorite stores uh, is a spice shop that I actually come to visit. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they're open. This is kind of out of the ordinary in a way, but uh, you do have safety boxes, of course. You have uh, handwritten, you know, uh, for orders and things like that. Little clipboards that you get in the restaurants. Damn, they're almost 10 bucks. Everything that you could want, really. Look across the street there. I see, uh, again, bamboo steamers, pots, pans, all kinds of utensils. This place over here has like uh, restaurant chairs and stools. It's pretty interesting. Let's go uh, across the street and show you real quickly. And look, we've only walked about two blocks from where we started already. But I find some of these stores very, very interesting. Look at that. Different chairs, different stools. A lot of uh, really interesting uh, products along here. Again, industrial equipment. Look at this. So I slowly walk. Hopefully you can see some of your favorite uh, things going by. Look at this. Remember these? The sushi boats and stuff like that you have back home in America. You can still get them here. Lots of pots and pans and trays. All kinds of stuff. Look at the assortment of chopsticks here. All the little uh, dishes and stuff. Now, of course, depending on what you want, obviously you gotta find the store that is right for you. Ooh. Cuisinarts, blenders. Oh, they even got like a pizza oven right here. That's pretty cool. Again, as we're walking the side of the street here, every store, Pretty much as busy along the way here. You know, so it's, it's sad though that some of these stores have closed down. You know, that was a confectionery showcase uh, area that I used to uh, visit a couple years ago. Do these look familiar? Now this one is only 42, yet this one, bigger BTUs I guess, is uh, 27. Handy chop tray, ladies and gentlemen. But again, they have uh, everything you want. So, you know, price uh, checking would be quite difficult, so you'd have to hit a lot of these stores. He's sharpening knives inside there. I've always been amazed at uh, knife sharpening. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm not sure about these bags, why this store is here, but again, it's pretty awesome. Another nice store. Look at that. Look at all those knives. How crazy is that? Now, my favorite uh, store that I like to visit is actually over there, so I'm gonna have to go back a little bit cut through here 
And like I said, when you come to Kapabashi, you will be cutting across all the uh, streets because it depends on what store you, you, know, you really need. But look at this. All the flan pans, right down to cutting boards. Every store is different, it's unique, but it's also amazing. Love the mixers over there. And of course, the store, like I said, this is my favorite store. It, uh, they specialize in Gabon uh, spices and stuff. I have filmed in here before, but just to give you a quick idea, pretty much all the spices that you really need, you can get at this store and some other foreign products and stuff. So uh, I like to visit this store a lot. Just to show you inside, they do have a bunch of spices, canned things, lots of Asian sauces. If you need uh, French's mustard or Dijon mustards, lots and lots of uh, foods here. It amazes me. And in the back, they got like lots of different cheeses and all kinds of Japanese and foreign products. So yeah, it's a great store. That's all salad dressings. Thousand Islands to sesame to Italian. All restaurant quality, which is still pretty cool. The Osechi boxes I see. Napkins, takeout stuff. I'll show you a different store in a minute for that. Even down to a uh, little, look at this, it's Christmas season, so they got Christmas cups here. Camel lunch pack. Oh, look at the cute little kitty plates. They seriously have everything here, ladies and gentlemen. This store is roped off. Not sure why, maybe there's a different entrance. Oh yeah, here it is right here, that's why. Nice looking store here. And again, as we uh, look around, you know, there's all these stores along here. It's just truly awesome. Oh, look at the puppy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Again, as I'm walking, is your mind blown yet, ladies and gentlemen? a signage store here cases signs you'll see these around uh, Japan that's where you get them look at this hot drinks you see those in the convenience store keeping the hot food look how big those uh, pots and pans are there all kinds of different things even you'll see ashtrays where people smoke outside you can get them here now just around the corner over here and i'm sure some of you know where i am what temple is that right there ladies and gentlemen let me know in the comments i would uh, really like to know if you and don't google it just let me know if you know now this store here is one of the greatest uh, takeout stores uh, you can get all your bento takeouts, your chopsticks, your napkins, uh, and it's very, very cheap. And I'll show you why in a sec here. There's the temple there. Again, look at this. You're getting uh, napkins here for 450 yen, uh, cellophane to tin foil to. Uh, even to put your hot food in, what are you, probably about 20 or so, not only for a buck or two. Uh, massive chopsticks. Look how many chopsticks are in a pack here. 500 chopsticks for $6. So you can, you can see why a lot of these uh, places um, have cheap chopsticks. Look at that, 190 yen. 
And then you have the wall of bentos here, so you can buy, uh, you know, these in bulk. Especially, you know, if you have a restaurant or, you know, during COVID, a lot of people are doing a lot of takeout and stuff. So it is pretty cool. But inside, they also have a lot of uh, other stuff here. You got soup bowls, more bento boxes and things like that. And even on this side here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite places, uh, you know, to come get chopsticks and or, uh, you know, how I pack lunches for work. I actually go right there, but I do have a lunchbox too at home. Across the street is one of my favorite stores here, Himura. Um, it's an old signage store. Now, I can't film inside too much, but I'll try and show you basically what it looks like. They have an amazing Coca-Cola display uh, table and stools that I wish one day I could buy. I wish one day, but check out all these old signs. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then you can see inside all the different signs and stuff. Coca-Cola to Budweiser to Blue Moon, coffee, pretty cool. Look at those, can you see that? The big ass uh, Coca-Cola bottles. They have all kinds of different signs here. Texas motor oil. Garbage cans. Like, that's amazing. All these old signs. I love this place. They do have some uh, figurines and stuff like that. Um, which I found kind of off in a way, but uh, if you can take advantage of the mango, why not? They actually do have uh, a jukebox here and the hot dog. So yeah, this is a pretty, a pretty cool store to visit. Um, I like it, I really do. And uh, yeah, if you're ever here, come check it out. As we get down, uh, it's about two more blocks only. Uh, the stores do get bigger and busier. Well, maybe not this one. <coughs> Isn't this amazing? Look at that. everything all these stock pots they go from the smallest all the way down to the biggest there that is amazing look at these gas burner rep probably replacements for stoves in the kitchens and stuff strainers pots big ass uh, kettles it's crazy eh? i'm going to take you over to that food uh, store in a sec here Again, I have to uh, walk across the street. Now, this is one of the more popular uh, f food, uh, fake food, is that what we're going to call it again? <laughs> uh, stores. And I'm just going to come in and show you how amazing some of these things are. It might be a good idea to pick up a keychain while you're here. Um, again, they do make everything that you could think of. These are called food samples, okay. Look at these parfaits. Isn't that amazing? Down to some fruit. And then as we turn over here, look at this. They have the crepes. All the crepes are here. Pieces of sushi. Yakitori. Look at that. Look at the pizzas, even they look real. And it's not cheap. Like that white cake there's $132. You know, some of these are $88. These pizzas or these flans, $132, $77. Amazing. Again, these are the keychains or uh, cell phone fobs that you could get. My favorite, of course, is the beer. Love the beer. It's amazing looking. And then they have all the breads. 
cheese, seafood, tempura over here. And then I've actually shown you guys where some people before in a live stream, they have sushi clocks, which is pretty cool. So um, if you ever do come here, please check out this uh, store. Look at the roll cakes. Look at that, eh? Look at all these little pieces here. That's amazing. And of course, what, look at it. They have, uh, I'll show you the pig in a minute, but they got all the seafood, the crab. This is all handmade. And of course, love it. Love that pig. Now they used to have a, a store inside here. Uh, it's actually closed down in the last couple of years, I think uh, from last year um, due to coronavirus. But uh, a lot of these shops are still going strong and uh, I'm, I'm in all my glory right now. I just got to figure out what I'm going to buy. This store here has its international shipping, online shopping. Look at that. Fujitashoji.com. Oh, there's the puppy again. Look at this, from toothpicks to cups, wooden muddlers to mix your coffee. So many amazing things. I love looking at all these things here. And just as I point the camera up, all the shelves are packed. And remember, if you go to their website, they do have international shipping, authentic Japanese products. Again, more plates. Oh, I, 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 I can't even name half the things. I see some walks here. I wouldn't buy a walk from here. Probably buy it from a different place. But amazing, eh? Then this store here is really unique because this is the cleanup store, ladies and gentlemen. They got the brooms, the brushes, all kinds of amazing uh, Japanese products here. Look at that. People are uh, shopping, straw brooms. So as you can see, it's, 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 I'm speechless. I'm almost speechless. As I'm talking, I'm looking around. <coughs> One of the most popular stores is right across the street here. Let's go take a look. Like I said, you gotta be zigzagging. This is Kitchen World. And it's got two floors, uh, all the way in the back. Um, I have asked to film in here, but uh, they want me to, uh, said filming from the outside is okay, but everything you want. Again, they always have sale counters at the, uh, at the front here. So you can get, you know, like little pots and pans. But, Look at the thermoses down there. And then you were talking about, you know, 15, 20 bucks for a thermos. They have a lot of wood in here, especially in the back. A lot of wooden plates. If you like, you know, the wooden plates, the wooden spoons, bowls, forks, things like that. These chopsticks look reasonable. So yeah, this is uh, Kitchen World. And Takaso is uh, a really big, uh, chain of stores here they have uh, one over there they actually have the, the knife section which is right here oh, and a few other products oh kakigori machines you know to do the rice I mean, do the rice to do the ice look at that absolutely amazing This is the store that uh, has all the figurines and stuff. I still could not figure out why this store is here. But uh, you can see lots of Dragon Ball Z to Niku. You got lots of Pokemon inside. Look at that. All these little figurines. A 
whole wall. Crazy, eh? Again. Nice looking signs here. Wow. Oh, they got baggage storage here. Last time I was here, actually, uh, this, this uh, delivery service, uh, Takubin, was not here before. So that kind of amazes me. You can see Takaso here. You can see Takaso over there. Takaso over there. So they do have, they represent a lot here on Kapabashi. Um, let's try and cross the street again. Look at everything here. It's getting a little windy now. I'm going to be crossing the street back again. Look at that store. I think this, that, that really looks nice. Tanuki up there. Aesthetically, this place looks amazing. And again, you're going to have all kinds of different things inside. Wow. Takaso here. Silver trays, clay bowls, amazing. Look at that, 700 yen made in Japan. How many of you would actually come shopping on this street and would love every minute of it, ladies and gentlemen? Because uh, you should comment what your favorite store is. I'm going to try and cross the street here. It's really hard to <laughs> get across the street uh, when you're zigzagging and zigzagging. But uh, look at this. Isn't that amazing? Just imagine walking up for about five blocks. It's everything you could ever dream about kitchens. Look at that. Love the bamboo steamers. Get my shumai on. That's pretty cool. After a while, you know, things do repeat, but, you know, if you're looking for a bargain, you really got to uh, shop around. Oh, let's make some tamagoyaki. See different prices there. Nice. Isn't that amazing? I like how they even uh, got some of the fake food, or the food samples, and added into the products that they're selling. So I like that. You don't see a lot of that. That is pretty cool. First time I've seen copper in this whole video. So that surprises me. Now this store up here, I'm not going to point the camera too much, I'm just going to walk by, but a lot of signs, all kinds of stuff, and it's not very busy, which surprises me, but it does amaze me. Oh, there's the chef dude right inside there. Pretty cool. You might get a good deal on Ziploc to saran wrap to tin foil brushes. Again, look at the size of these pots here. Oh, it's not crazy. This is a very big store actually. It has a, it's multi-floored. And uh, we're almost at the corner here. Isn't that beautiful? That is pretty sweet. Look at all the uh, different trays. And they always have displays, or I guess shopping carts, with a bunch of stuff here. Like 190 yen, if you're not too worried about having uh, certain product, product names or whatever. Smart flap, 190 yen. 220 yen, look at that. 220 yen. Bigger bowls, 330 yen, even bigger, 14, 1700. 
juice or water containers. They're only open till 1745. Little glass uh, things. I like these mugs. These are the strainer mugs. You can see uh, inside there for your teas and stuff. On sale for 500 yen. Look at that, eh? And of course, uh, Wenu is about uh, six or seven blocks that way. No, I'm not going to Moss Burger. Asakusa is uh, about four or five blocks that way. Of course, this main street here is called Asakusa Dori. Uh, Domino's. <laughs> and how do you know if you're at Kapabashi? Well, you got the big chef up on the building there, which is pretty awesome. Koban is here. And uh, all you have to do is look for the Nimi building with all the... Uh, the coffee cup, tea cups, or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is Kappa Bashi. Uh, an amazing store, um, amazing store, amazing street. Um, anything and everything that you could ever want, uh, from toothpicks to stock pots to food products, uh, all kinds of different things that you could want. Oh, Mossberger selling chicken here. Um, it is pretty cool. I would say that you should come and visit. And uh, well, we're going to finish up with one of my favorite spots here, which is just right here. Uh, this is a junk store that I absolutely, I can't even fathom. I can't even fathom how this person even gets inside their store. But here, check this out. Isn't that crazy? They have everything here. Oh, they're inside there somewhere. Can you see them moving? Bachan is inside. Look at this. And of course, they have all kinds of stuff too. I always call it a junk store, but you know, I've seen uh, old telephones. Oh, look how old these phones are. Look at that. They do have some new products, but they have a lot of old products that you know, if you want to uh, live back in the day. Oh, I've never seen that. They've got a basketball hidden behind there. And of course, some creepy masks. How cool is that? Wow, look at the bugle. Damn. Old signages too. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is uh, Kapabashi Kitchen Alley um, here in... Uh, I guess it'd be Taitoku, I guess. Uh, it's between Asakusa and Weno. Uh, if you ever do come to Tokyo, you are interested in kitchen uh, stuff, by all means, please come check this out. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, keep it real, keep it roster true to yourself, because I always do. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.